Me and my pasty legs. Yeah, in Missouri, my friend was telling me he was 18 straight out of high school. He had taken a acid for the first time with his girlfriend he was living with at the time. They're just trying it for the first time. And her friend had squealed on her parents about it. And over in Missouri, you don't really, drugs aren't really like, <laughs> it's more taboo. They look up online every all the information and the parents are afraid that she would become an addict or something. So they came over there and broke them up and they were living together at a time they were like in a close relationship living together after high school. And she got separation anxiety, started cheating on him and having a bunch of anxiety panic about things. And he found out and all got upset and she like took a kitchen knife and cut herself open. And I think she was sure feeling guilty and everything was just a nightmare. So he didn't leave for that reason, but he left for several other reasons. Like he just did not want to live in St. Louis anymore. I wanted to get away from all of it because also culturally it's very different and the heat is different. My, my grandpa left because of allergies. He didn't want it. The heat is different in St. Louis. It's very hot. It beats down on you. And the weather, his allergies were really bad. He was in the military. He had just come back from World War II. He fought on Guadalcanal, fought the Japanese. So, and had eight kids after out in Sierra Mesa. So that's what happened with my grandpa Salini, my dad's side. But this guy is from St. Louis and is a little younger than me and... He's really smart, actually. He's into music and making music, and he reminds me of Andy Warhol. I, it's funny because I uh, kind of remind me, myself of Edie in a way, Edie Sedgwick, because my friend used to send me pictures of Edie Sedgwick online because she used to be a groupie. So she was always very, she knew about studying all the famous groupies of the 60s, and Edie dated Bob Dylan. So she would post pictures of Edie Sedgwick and striped shirts. At the time I was wearing, I used to wear striped shirts like that years ago. I sometimes would cut my hair in pixie cuts. I actually cut my hair like a guy's in sophomore year of high school. People were saying I was a lesbian. I didn't really care because I didn't have anybody. I didn't have a boyfriend or a girlfriend. I didn't even care because everybody could just gossip and talk shit about me all they want. They always did anyways. A lot of them said that I, you know, I had all kinds of weird rumors, which I don't really even care. I like, I'm a pretty simple girl. I didn't even have a cell phone until I was like 22. I had to buy it myself. I had to buy my own cars. I was not given liberties and given whatever, you know, handed everything to me. I grew up pretty poor. And I you know this guy, I know that he needs friends. He needs somebody to be around because nobody needs to be just out alone out in San Diego, really. He, I think he isolates himself too much, and Missouri is a totally different culture out here. It's different. Like, out in Hillcrest, is dangerous. There's some sketchy people. If somebody had cut this tree, almost, like, designed it, almost, like, made something out of it, like, designed something out of it. It's exactly what I should want to do with that tree of mine. But, yeah, it is really hot out here, but nothing compared to St. Louis, where my friend is from. He lives in SDSU area, which is a party zone. There's a lot of drugs down there, and drugs are different here than how it is out there. It's more taboo there because a lot of people grew up religious, and the culture is totally different. Coming here, you're getting a no different kinds of people, and he's he is younger than me. So in a way, I'm kind of motherly friend. But he does like me as an attraction to me, but I don't know because he acts like totally lost and still trying to figure himself out out here. So I'm like just a friend, really. We're planning to like go to SeaWorld and do things like that together. So I just, I don't care. I don't mind having male friends. It's fine to me. I've always had since I was young. And when I was younger, I used to just go ride my bikes or go to the horse ranch and volunteer there. I didn't have a boyfriend in high school, so I'm different. A lot of girls expect a lot of things from guys right away because they're hanging around a man that he'll buy you things. I told him, I just got paid today. I just got my paycheck today. I'll pay for food when we go out. If we go to Sea Road, I'll pay for 
my side of things. I'm not going to, like, rely on you or anything because you're a guy, and including he's not really dating me. There's no official thing, and he, he's trying to figure himself out here on San Diego, you know, still. It's not that easy to figure yourself out coming from out of state, and he got a car, but he didn't think he was going to get a car. My car is taking now three weeks to be fixed and finished with all the exterior paint job and everything. I saw they changed the windows and that was very expensive. That's thousands of dollars. And I know what it's like to be without a car and you feel like this is enough. I want my car back and my PT cruiser is finally looks like good as new. It's all in painted and the, the fenders are all, all bent up by the previous owner and doesn't look like I got in a bunch of massive collisions on crack and cocaine. So that's what I want is why we got it fixed so that nobody's like going to misjudge and think that I did that to my car and just wanted to make it look smoothed out and look, you know, good as new. PT Cruisers are an old-fashioned kind of a car. Mine's 2004, 2005 time, so I am a little more old-fashioned. I'm a little more old-school, so it goes along with my old-fashioned style. I'm a little bit more vintage -y. so... But I want to look good in my car. I don't want people to think I'm on crack cocaine or I'm some bad driver dealing with caregiving jobs like that, driving people around in my car. I, you know, I I don't like driving in a junky car with tape on it or anything like that. So we got all the lights fixed. Everything to make it good as new to make it look totally better. But I didn't think it was going to take this long. This is taking a little far and beyond, but fine because I went out with my friend yesterday and he has a car but he didn't think he was going to get a car he got it from like a roommate and he moved out of state and then just gave it to him for now it's like for a year now that's how it went but you never know people drive people and their dogs out here I'm glad I don't have a dog I have a cat I'm more of a cat person where there's kitties there are no problems where there's kitties everything is going to be okay